has Leonardo DiCaprio come oh, yeah. here? Many times. I used to go to uh, ABC Kitchen. He likes to eat raw fluke, raw tuna. So he's very healthy. Very healthy. Because he's gained weight recently. Yeah, but that's why he needs to. That's why he needs to, to lose ABC. it. And I, I was reading in the in the press that last week you just cooked for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's baby shower at the Mark. Wait, that was last week, last Wednesday. I don't suppose to talk about it, but uh, I signed a release. But so you can't talk about I it, or you can't. You yeah. can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I posted a, an Instagram on. Uh, they were mad at me. I saw. Oh, they got mad at you, yeah. Serena. Prince Andrew. Oh, Prince Andrew. Give me a call from London. Oh, really? Say the, the Queen is mad that you post a, oh, so you posted really? a video of the table. Really? Everybody had, the, everybody had the outside when she came out and in, but nobody had the inside picture. I was the only one with the inside picture. <laughs> so they're kind of a little mad at me, but they, they're fine now. You know, everybody all over the world who wants to come and try your food. I mean, we, you know, we have, a, we have a dozen restaurants in New York City. One then we in Tokyo, Shanghai, Wanjo, Hong Kong, Singapore. Mm -hmm. It's an empire. You have a food empire. A little empire, but it's, you know, I've been cooking for 44 years, so it took a long time to create. Wow. I read that when you were 29 years old, New York Times gave you four stars. Yes. And you were considered the forefront of Nouvelle Cuisine, that all the other chefs who came, they would look to you for reinventing simple but elegant dishes. That's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, that's why I say New York, you know, when I got my four star. CNN was in the kitchen the next day. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. So who are the people that come through these doors? You must meet so many interesting people. I mean, everybody, you know. Bill Clinton came here. Bill Clinton, Obama, obviously course, Trump. Trump. He's my landlord, obviously How? movie stars as well. Yeah. Like who, which movie stars um, come here frequently? Catherine Zeta-Jones. Catherine Zeta-Jones, Michael, Michael Douglas. Has Leonardo DiCaprio come oh, yeah, here? Many times. DiCaprio. He loves to go to uh, ABC Kitchen. Oh, ABC yeah. Kitchen he likes to go to. I want you to have a bite. This is an egg toast. Okay. So the eggs is cooked for a couple hours. Mm. It's a little decadent, but uh, it's very tasty. If we've started, why stop? <laughs> right? Had a decadent morning of cooking. Exactly. Mm. Well, okay, he so like, he likes to go to ABC Kitchen. He what is, what does he like to order? You know, the, the mushroom pizza there. You know, uh, he likes to eat raw fluke, raw tuna. We do a Moroccan roasted uh, roasted carrot salad with avocado, mm -hmm. mushroom pizza always, and then he has um, a sibas. We do a sibas in a potato broth. So he's it's very, very healthy. Very healthy. Because yeah. he's gained weight recently. Yeah, but that's why he needs to. That's why he needs to, to lose ABC, it. Uh, <laughs> kitchen or ABC. Who are the famous Chinese celebrities that have that you've cooked for? Jack Ma came. Many oh, times. did you recognize him? Yeah, oh yeah. Because Chi all Chinese people look the same. <laughs> Wow, Ma Yun, yeah. Ma Ye Ye, Lai Zhe Li, Chi Fan, how many times? What does he order? We just put a menu together. You know, we like four courses, have two hours, one hour, one hour and a half. Mm -hmm. He came a couple times for lunch, three times for dinner. Uh, so, where did he? Which table was he at? He was in, when he was two, he was here. Okay. The six stop was. What's the most impossible thing that you've been asked? I mean, you know, for example, um, middle of the night, somebody wants some dim sum. Uh, that must be a Chinese customer. It has to be a Chinese customer. So we send somebody to uh, to Chinatown, and we find it. What's the most expensive dish you've ever made in your life? Probably two years ago. Oh, so mix, recently. Eccentric. Uh, Russian. No, Russian. Chinese. American. Oh. Came in and said, I want a baked potato with sour cream, butter, and I want you to shave me a whole white truffle on top. And, and how big is a whole white truffle? I mean, this one was uh, probably, I would say, 200 gram. So we either have to we shave it on top, how big is 200 grams? Oh, yes. And it was uh, $3,000 worth of uh, one dish. $3,000? Worth of truffle, yeah. Of, of baked potato. No, just a baked potato with truffle. The truffle was, uh, baked potato was very... The baked potato was 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> the truffle, uh, well, $3,000 worth of truffle. On, uh, we shaved the whole plate. We eat it. We eat half the potato. When we came back, we shaved more truffle on top. It was a simple dish, but probably the most expensive I've ever done. That's crazy! Eccentric. Who was he? He was uh, just, um, I think he, he made a big deal that day in, uh, on Wall Street. 
finance guy. The finance guy, big sell and say, okay, I love the smell of truffle, I said, that garlicky, healthy smell, and uh, he said, I'm going to treat myself to uh, a baked potato and a uh, truffle. I hope the chef can make it. Tell us about the system of Michelin stars. It's so mysterious to us. You, how do you get a star? Like, what do you need to get one star, two stars, three stars? And one star, it's anything on the plate. You know, as to be, it could be, you could be eating with the chair with no back. It doesn't matter. It's really what's on the plate, the combination of the food, the quality of the ingredients. I think to start, you need to already have a little more, uh, you know, cutlery, comfortable seats on uh, something. The food has to be, probably the plate is always 80%. Mm -hmm. Once you get three stars, to be the, really the ultimate experience. You know, mm. like come in and uh, they're blown away for three hours or two yeah. hours. But they come many times, uh, supposedly, on the consistency, so they order many times the same dish. For example, that tuna to make sure that it's always executed uh, the same way because if they put a label on a, a restaurant, two, three, one, and people come and say, oh, this is, you know, I don't know what I expected. So mm. I, I think consistency is the most important. Mm. Yeah. But you need to have an ambiance, you need to have yeah. a surrounding, great service. My rule is nobody leaves the restaurant without a smile on their face. Wow, 果然就是高手。我觉得大家都可以从大厨学一学，不只是吃喝啊玩乐，也可以到这里学一学大厨的一些智慧。Thank you for your wisdom, you. JG. My test for a cook to make sure they have sharp knives and have a little skill. Ask them to cut an onion five ways. Five ways. So that's your first challenge today. Okay, yeah. I can't wait. Sliced, diced, minced, I've heard of wedges. Yes. On, one more. Rings. Yes. Yes! <laughs> okay. And how so, do we hold the knife? Like this? Firm. Firm. Oh, so your thumb is on this side. Yeah. Oh. Okay. That's it? You got it? Okay, and then we have rings. Rings? Okay. okay. And what is this? Then we're gonna do a cross, sliced. Uh, cross like this. That's it. Okay. Yes. And am I supposed to put a finger here when you? Yeah, this? I, I always guide it. See? Okay. Oh. All right, that's it. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Very good. We're gonna do big dice. Big dice. Okay. Cross like this. <gasps> Oh, that's so cool. Okay. And then this. Then you have a dice. So big dice. One, two, three. Ooh. And then... Turn it around. All the way, don't you go all, all the way across. Wow, like this? Yes. Careful. This feels dangerous. How do we make sure it doesn't... It's good. We did. ...lose control. Okay. Be careful the, the, the last finger there. Okay, careful the last finger. This is a dice. This is a dice. You have to go very slow. Oh. Not like all the way through. See how small it is? It's like a small dice. Yeah. Oh, this is amazing. I always, you know, when I look at the recipe books when I'm trying to cook for my boyfriend, I never understand even the ways to cut it. Okay. There you okay. Go. Hold it. Hold it. You're doing a great job. Woo. Careful your finger. I'm going to lose all my fingers. Oh, now we go. Now you hold out the whole package together like this, and you go down the other way. And how many times do I go across? Many? Two times, usually. Oh, just two times? Yeah, to make it. It depends on how thin you want it. The more you the more you slice, the thinner it is. Okay, and then I go down. Yeah. Go. Ooh. And the last one is a little wedge, I guess. So you go, just go down like a wedge, like a lemon like a wedge. wedge. Like a lemon wedge, like this. Yeah. And wedges. That's it? We got it. You're higher. I'm higher. Guys, welcome uh, Sarah to the kitchen. I know I'm a natural. <laughs> wow, 太棒了！你看看我的作品，基本上就是跟大厨一模一样。I'm saying that the One, stuff, two, three, the way four, I cut it is exactly like yours. No? Very close. Close enough. Close enough. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.
I'll be posting a new video each week with tips and tricks that I think will help all of us lead a better life.